نضايع أمير المؤمنين وخليفة المسلمين What you're seeing here is called a bay'a. It's the Arabic word for a pledge of allegiance. In this case, militants from the Syrian group Ahrar al-Sham are pledging to the Islamic State, the self-proclaimed caliphate overseen by Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Since ISIS announced its so-called caliphate in late June, several low-level extremist groups and individuals from different regions heeded its call for Muslims to swear their loyalty. إننا والله لا نجد لكم عذرا شرعيا في التخلف عن نصرة هذه الدولة. The total number of people who have pledged to ISIS is unknown, and big-name extremists like Al Shabab and Al Qaeda have all taken a pass. سمع الله لمن حمد. Pledging allegiance has been practiced since the days of the Prophet Muhammad, more than 1400 years ago. By pledging to ISIS, you agree to abide by their extreme version of Islamic law. But many people simply pledge to be on the side that's winning, or because they fear for their lives. And Islamic scholars say that this so-called caliphate has no legitimacy, so neither do the pledges. Abdul Haq al-Turkmani compared ISIS's pledges to those made to an underground organization and says that it's similar to deals reached between drug dealers. Most groups have released video or audio recordings and published them on social media. Others do it in person with an ISIS representative. With these pledges, ISIS gets more members. More members mean more legitimacy. Some of those members could even become fighters. Those in Syria and Iraq who pledge get to join the ranks of ISIS, either on the battlefield or in the so-called state they're trying to establish, and that they portray as an Islamic utopia. Ayman <laughs> al-Tamimi says that groups outside of ISIS areas of control who pledge cannot necessarily expect financial and military support from Islamic State but they do benefit from their loose association with the ISIS brand. However a pledge is made, some experts say that beyond the scope of religion, they're more or less meaningless. They say that oaths are not binding in absolute terms and do not dictate behavior, and that there are defections and shifting allegiances. Some groups, like Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, offer words of support to ISIS, but don't go as far as to pledge allegiance to them. Other groups see themselves as leaders of global jihad and don't agree that Baghdadi is the ruler of all Muslims. Breaking a pledge is considered a great sin. And even if ISIS doesn't punish you, God will.